Welcome to Swag Fails. Terrifying crashes and overload trucks overturn in every US state. It all comes from the terrible mistakes of bad drivers and are caught on camera. Let's explore and learn how to handle those situations to become a safe driver. Control the unloading speed carefully. Avoid sudden changes in weight on the vehicle. It is better to use a latch to secure the truck to prevent it from tipping over during unloading. No, 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 no. Probably because the driver entered the corner too quickly. Before entering the corner, slow down the vehicle to reduce centrifugal force and maintain control. Driving a large truck requires a skilled driver, especially when entering a curve. Avoid braking suddenly or turning too narrow, as this can easily cause the vehicle to lose balance and overturn. As soon as you become aware that a wheel is missing, slow down safely and take control of your vehicle. That's why we should regularly check and maintain our vehicles, especially tires and brakes. Always keep a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Avoid any activities that may distract you while you are driving such as using a cell phone or any other distracting activity. If I were the driver of that white minivan, I would have slowed down and come to a complete stop behind the blue vehicle. Do not recklessly push ahead when visibility is absolutely limited like that, specifically when the space is not enough as well. Ninety-nine percent of the vehicle's brakes were disabled. Luckily, it didn't rush into anyone else. When the wheel comes off, calmly hold the handlebars tightly and slow down slowly. Avoid braking suddenly or making sudden steering movements, as this could cause loss of control or increase the risk of rollover. Before starting the move, carefully check the condition of the vehicle to see if the trunk is closed or not. When driving a large, long truck, make turns slowly and control your speed. Avoid confusing the accelerator pedal with the brake pedal. Avoid suddenly changing speed or direction, it can easily cause a long truck to overturn. There are quite a few drivers who forgot to close the trunk lid, and they're all the same in that. You only realize it when they encounter some obstacle. Make sure the truck is closed before moving to ensure safety.
It is a dangerous intersection without traffic signals. Slow down and look around before entering the intersection. Only move when traffic is safe. When approaching any fork, I always have the habit of slowing down and don't turn the radio so loud that you cannot hear the fire truck alarm. Overloading is the cause of this incident. Always adhere to the maximum load weight and never exceed the vehicle's load capacity. When entering a curve, an overloaded truck can easily cause the vehicle to tilt, lose balance and overturn as well. Do not just recklessly overload the vehicle's weight, just to save on shipping costs. Always keep your eyesight and focus on your driving environment. Avoid distractions from cell phones or other factors that can reduce attention. Maintain a regular maintenance schedule for your brake system. Make sure your brake pressure is checked regularly and is strong enough to ensure best braking performance. Use the emergency system or braking pads if available. Pay attention to the traffic ahead instead of your phone about why the two trucks were going so slowly to bypass the automatic scale to detect overload. It is very possible he's having problems with his car's brakes, or at least he should honk continuously to warn those around him, slow down at each intersection to promptly react to unexpected situations. Stay as far as possible from large trucks or trucks carrying bulky items. Trucks carrying such large and long objects should have someone to assist with the surrounding traffic situation. It is an exit, not an entrance, but I really wonder why they don't see each other, maybe because they're not paying any attention at all. Yo! Do not miss the inclinometer in the cab so you know how level the truck is before raising the box. If it feels uneven, do not lift it up or it'll tilt somewhere else. Before turning around, find a safe and large enough location to do so, ensuring that you will not destroy infrastructure, such as fire hydrants in front or behind when you turn. It is very possible that the tanker truck driver fell asleep for a few short seconds while driving. Make sure you are mentally alert and do not get distracted even for one bit of a second. If you emerge from a hidden area, slow down to observe and honk to warn others of your presence. Continuing to press on the brakes when you are sliding and your wheels are locked actually turns your vehicle into a sled. Rolling tires have traction. Locked tires do not. When you are driving a tow vehicle, avoid sudden turns or braking. It is difficult to regain control after that. 
No matter how quickly you are in a hurry, do not follow any car closely. Keep a safe distance from them to avoid unnecessary incidents. <laughs> I hope he's okay. What's wrong, bro? Now let you can. Yeah. Ah, все, снес. That's cool. Party here. Get well soon. Wow, the car could have crashed into the column of the bridge on the pass. Get your stuff out and leave it. It's like that scene from Jurassic Park and see some cop are nice. I bet that guy just crapped. I was surprised at the amount of flash floods this area gets. You even haunt. Awesome catch.
the Harris uh. Islands Max 20 conditions apply. Thanks, Tim. Looks like someone got smashed in the truck. I believe that this person was never allowed to operate a vehicle in the first place. No, 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 Must have been something bad for them to oof over so quickly. So who is the one who goes in the wrong lane to cause a collision? Maybe he was going to lose control, but he took out two innocents in the process. I like how there was literally a sign showing an illustration of what was about to occur to the driver. Oh no! Be careful, bro! No point stopping to exchange instruments. Let them follow you to a police station and it can all be done there. Let me know when you get one. I got some stuff. I want you to help me move. Beside the idiot truck driver, what a strange road design! What's the purpose? Knowing what a bin cost and that everything seems to cost about double by the time it gets there, I feel bad for whoever just got their lid smashed. I don't think it was love that he was feeling. You can do about 90 km per hour in a frana, but you don't want to. No. What's even more reckless is that he did it right where there was a car pulled over in the emergency breakdown lane. Jeez, that was a bigger impact than I expected. Hope you're okay, buddy, and justice was done. That sucks. Anyone who runs from an accident is nothing short of a coward. Get off the road. Take us off the road. The dub drives off absolutely obvious while the poor trucky gets stuck with flat spotted tires at what? About $500 each! I am always amazed at how much damage can happen at low speeds. Destruction in a split second really makes us tremble. Que verga. I can feel the next train on the driver of the Nissan. Just all around terrible for everyone. They even honked at the driver on the road they were turning on. Love. What a clone! Damn! If it just driving one lane over in the 4.72 meters lane, it probably would have made it.
If the bridge isn't meant to allow big vehicles, then the truck driver is at fault. Oops, this bridge doesn't seem to want trucks to pass safely, right? Thank God the driver is okay. I know those people standing there. Yeah, get out of the way. Good thing it wasn't traffic time because so many people commute over the Puyallup River Bridge. Did he just back up? This goes way beyond oops. If multiple people were trying to get the driver's attention, driver deserves to lose driving privileges for life. At the very least, he's CDL. What kills me is the guy with the camera spent all that time recording but didn't turn his cell phone to see the aftermate. Come on! Don't try to warn the driver. Just pull over and video the accident. Humanity at its finest. Being stuck under the bridge probably awakened the driver's driving skills a lot. Once again, a guy underestimates the size of something he has. And the bridge wins again. Oh no! Okay, who half expected the truck to go into the drink? Many of those tankers drive way too fast. They act like they get paid by the load. Gas truck exploded, tipped over. Yeah, don't mind the driver. Maybe he had a heart attack. Maybe he is badly injured. Just clear the road so he can pass. О, молодец! А ну еще раз, бай! Ух ты, блядь! Заебенил, мага! Ёл свою мага! Пиздец!
I don't understand how these kind of imbeciles get their licenses, even less when driving a truck. To, like, de for any reason, he would go elsewhere yeah. and start the terror. Every truck driver ever. I'm stuck behind this truck going 50 mph, but I want to go 50.2 mph. I'm going to pass. Hope they are okay. Oh. Don't teach lanes so quickly, bro. It's so dangerous. Truck drivers are one of the biggest idiots on the road. Having a special license doesn't make them any better. Hello? Yeah, we had trouble completing your delivery. There was a power outage on your block. The trucker said, 8. I am surprised he didn't keep coming over right and hit you. Please check the brake system before going on the road carefully. The semi may have not seen him. It can be nerve-wracking when you're a pedestrian. Does he see me? Does he not? It's funny, but people do that to trucks on purpose, trying to get the trucking company to pay out. Was he running so fast to escape the police car? Those car carriers always made me nervous. I know it's unlikely that they'll fall off, but looking up at the underside of vehicles next to you is concerning. Why didn't they just slow down a bit and get behind the semi? That's just crazy nuts. The way it looks, that car was in the semi's blind spots, which is illegal to drive in, so the blame was probably put on the car. Oh my god, a stumbling block needs the timely help of this ill fated truck in the middle of a snowy road. Maybe he was so busy listening to music that he forgot he was driving. It is a big deal because you're trying to still bend it death shots at other traffic. It looks like he was already rolling when he saw him, and semis are harder to stop than cars.
As long as they flick the straps, they should be fine. Wow, such an idiot. Did you see that guy right at the end run the lights? A crossing sign, stop sign, and a flashlight light. Apparently, not enough to make him stop. A friend of mine just got in a possibly life-altering accident because of dickheads like this. I'm reporting that to the police. I guess the truck didn't want to wait two more minutes until we reached the highway. Oops! <laughs> I just want to say the tow company is paying for it and was super apologetic and nice but I have to call them first when the dealership called me to let me know. Oh my gosh! To be fair, he may not have seen the truck if a snow pill from his roof fell onto his windshield. The driver completely unaware of what happened. Scary, especially with the way he accelerated, did he not notice the sudden lack of weight? If only there was a type of intersection that would let him go in a circle to make that maneuver safely. Oh my god! Oh my god! I think it was Colin that said, anyone driving slower than me is an idiot and anyone driving faster is a maniac. Truck drivers do not often disconnect the gears. That's an immediate termination if FedEx sees this. Bro, what's that holographic speed team you were using? It's still standing. A little duck step and it's good to go. Is red truck legally allowed to occupy the left lane there? I really thought the truck was gonna plow through the house. Surprise it didn't. That truck was clearly going way too fast. I'm sure all those people who he just nailed with a massive wake will rush over to their assistance. I assume he left a note with his phone number on the cup he dropped out the door.
submerged with grease. He was bent over a table, working on some kind of long metal patchwork, like a swath of chain mail. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel for new videos every day. Comment below, let us know thoughts. See you again. Hello, welcome to Swike Fails Supercar Fails channel. Swike Fails Supercar Fails is a channel that brings you traffic failure situations on the road, racetrack, and anywhere. If you're a big fan of Supercar Fails, crash car compilation, and incredible traffic situation caught on dashcam, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Wish you have relaxing moments on the channel Swag Fails, Supercar Fails. Goodbye and see you in our latest video. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through. I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through. Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through. Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true. I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood but then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that I can kneel it all if you're patient and soon it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning